Hello guys, this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. Welcome to new chapters of the Unreal Engine 4. Now in this new chapter, starting this year, we're going to start working with VR projects. Uh, probably there's a lot of people already that have already projects already built up in VR, but for starters, we're going to start today only with the base basics. Like, let's get your headset working on the game plus also get your controllers attached to your headset so you can see the hands. This tutorial is only going to be about that. On the next tutorial I will teach you guys how we can add different heights for the player so the player can see everything like if he had the real height in the real world. Now first we need to enable all our plugins. I'm going to use a blank project here a blank template everything from scratch like I always do because I want to teach you guys step by step how to do everything and you can memorize them and leave them in your head all right so first let's go to our plugins and we got to be sure that we have enabled our plugins for our VR headsets in my case is the mixed reality framework because I have a Dell visor with uh, Microsoft motion controllers so for me this this is enabled already so what I'm going to do I'm going to delete this things here because I don't need them in, on our scene now uh, first of all the, the first thing that we need to create is a folder let's create a folder and let's, and let's add a name to it it's going to be VR objects now in here I'm gonna put everything that has to do with the VR alright so let's get inside let's create our game mode blueprint class let's choose game mode base let's give a name it's gonna be VR game mode game mode and now let's create a new blueprint this one's gonna be our pawn now this one is going to be the character, the one that's going to be spawning your headset when you get into the game, when you start the game, when you test it. Alright? So let's create a pawn and let's put VR player uh, player character. And after we have those two blueprints, let's go to our... Uh, let me set up something here. Let me disable the real time because it takes performance. Let me go to the settings for the scale. It's a medium. Alright, we're good. So, first of all, let's go to our world settings and let's choose our game mode that we created. Eventually in the future we will be using this, but for now we need it right here. And for our default pawn class, which will be the character that will always be spawning when you test the game or you put the game, is going to be our VR player character, the blueprint that we just created right now. <coughs> okay, so uh, probably you guys are seeing like a couple of delays on the screen is because this is not the same computer I had before uh, it's not even a 50% of the other one so it's kind of slow but it will have to do for the moment until I get a better one alright so let's open up our VR player character blueprint and let's start going to the editor so we can start making some changes so we can see the controllers on our headset alright so right here we have our editor open we have the default scene root so for here on the default scene I'm gonna add another scene this one's gonna be VR HMD scene and inside the scene I'm gonna add the camera so we can view everything camera is gonna be VR camera nothing else okay so I'm gonna compile this and let's make sure that it's working so let's go and test it on VR Preview. Yes, we have our headset already working with the Unreal Engine. Okay, I'm gonna close this for a moment. Uh, my bad. VR game mode. No. So we are going back to our VR player character blueprint. Now, in here, we need to do a couple of things. First of all, we need to create two variables because we, need, we want to add the controllers. For that, we're going to choose under variable type BP motion controller. And we're going to give a name to it. It's going to be left. 
controller. All right, so let's create another one. This one's going to be the right controller. Compile. And now that we have those two variables inside the game, we can start adding our setups so we can get the controllers on our screen, on our headset. Now I'm going to delete the begin overlap and the event tick because we'll need it. We need the event begin play. Now from here in the event begin play, every time you start, you start the game, this is where all the setups are going to start running around the game. Alright, so first we're going to open up a sequence. Now in the sequence, we need to spawn the actor. And the actor that we need to spawn is the motion controller. So on the first sequence here, let's put spawn actor from class. There we go. Let's make a copy of this one. Let's paste it because we need two for two controllers. But this one is going to be the second sequence. Okay? So here we're going to choose our variable BP motion controller. There we go. This one is going to always spawn and ignoring all collisions. It's going to be the left hand, the body color, one, 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 it's okay. Okay? So now let's do the same with the second one. BP motion controller. There we go. This one always spawn, ignoring all conditions, collisions. And this one's going to be the right hand. Now here we need to add a transform for the spawn transform. So let's make transform just link it to both controllers and the owner the owner is gonna be the player VR character itself why because it's where it's going to be spawning with our headset so we add we need to add a reference here self reference thank you that is the vr player controller almost done okay so right now we have this when it starts it starts on the first sequence getting the first controller after that it goes to the second sequence getting the other controller and at the same time is telling it that it's going to be on the headset okay so now what's next that we need mm -hmm. okay so now we need to set our variables for our controllers really important we need to set it here and the right controller for this one is going to be set here now we're going to jump this one with this one and the other one with the first sequence there we go the return value is going to be the left controller for this one and the return value for this one is going to be the right controller okay so now we need to attach these two to the component and the component basically we're telling that's going to be in here inside our VR player character so let's get the node first attach to component same for this one attach to component there we go now on the location rule and rotation we need to snap it snap to target snap to target snap to target there we go and now we are going to tell that the VR HMD scene is the one that's going to be parent so basically from here it will snap it to our headset ah also the return value on the spawn actor to the attached component has to be on the target also in this one almost forgot about that alright so right now here we're good we with this setting here this basic setting that you see you already have your controllers attached to the headset now let's compile this quick everything is good now let's go back and let's hit the play so we can see what's going on and there we go we have our controllers 
we have our controllers working now now we can't hit the trigger or anything because we need to add some options to this so we can start using our hands in the game or controllers and stuff to pick up items and stuff like that but eventually I will show you that on probably three or four more tutorials up because we still need to get about we need to I need to teach you guys how to work with the height and everything else so we need to do a couple of things before we get into this okay so if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe uh, my tutorials are gonna be really basic and really easy for you guys I promise it's gonna be way much easier than before and still are going to be advanced so uh, I hope that we you know we continue all this uh, my computer is messed up but eventually uh, it will have to do for now until I get another one but well we can work it out still so if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest uploads that I put on YouTube and anything else just coming out of the box and I'll be gladly to write you back bye bye guys